If you hadn't heard of Hi-Fi Rush a few months ago, I don't blame you, because neither had I until it launched on Game Pass a few weeks ago. Surprises are great though, especially if it's a unique title in both visuals and game mechanics. It's something I hear all the time that games aren't innovative enough, that nobody tries anything different anymore, and while that's often true, here we have something that is a little different than the norm. It's a comic book guitar hero action platformer, I think. But the question is whether it works. So join me as we take a look at Hi-Fi Rush. First off, the comic book visuals are awesome. I don't think I've seen any game that's truly pulled this look off to this level. It reminds me a ton of Jet Set Radio. I think we're at the point in terms of graphical power where we might start seeing more games adopt this style after this. It's just so smooth and impressive, which fits the comic book style comedy and tone the story presents. I mean, this is a game where the main character, Chai, has an iPod drafted into his chest and his disabled arm replaced with a magnetic garbage collection rod. And there's a whole raft of likeable characters throughout the story, some of which are a little irritating in the beginning, but all grow to like and respect each other towards the end. You know how it goes. It's a good story, fitting of any classic Saturday morning cartoon. But the core of the game is its rhythm mechanic. If this aspect didn't work, then the game would fall flat immediately. And if you're prepared to learn how to attack in time with the beat, you'll get the best from the game. You can mash buttons to some degree, as your attacks only initiate in time to the beat, but you'll suffer weaker attacks. Plus, it's not actually that hard to get to grips with, as the game's BPM never noticeably changes. And when you get into the flow, you really do enjoy this to its fullest. I've played through this twice and it's on the second playthrough where I enjoyed this the most. I knew what to expect, understood the mechanics and didn't get smashed by enemies quite as much. Which leads me on to the difficulty. For the most part, I found this game to be fairly straightforward and of average difficulty, but there are the occasional spikes. Sometimes when new enemy variants arrive and others when introducing new game mechanics. It took me a few attempts to adjust to the parry mechanism for example. However, the later bosses don't mess around. The last phase of the final boss drove me a little nuts as his attacks are relentless, but in the end, once I'd sussed him out, I made easy work of him. It just took me a good few turns to work him out and dispense with him. And is often the case these days, there's a bunch of collectibles which can be spent on upgrading your character, from the usual health upgrades to combos and special moves. Don't ignore this, especially the health upgrades, as you'll make life easier by maximizing your health. One major plus for Hi-Fi Rush is it being on Game Pass. This will allow many more gamers to experience this unique title. I had a lot of fun playing through this and I would love to see more from the developers. They really nailed the look and took full advantage of the visuals, rhythm mechanics and comic book story. I'd happily part money for this if there was ever a physical version. So if you're on the fence, don't be. It's a great game and one I can add to my list of fun titles to replay. Have you played Hi-Fi Rush? If so, how did you find the rhythm aspects? And what were your thoughts on the game overall? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, a like, share or subscription is very much appreciated. And I hope to see you again soon.